Hey guys, welcome back. So this is gonna be my monthly favors video for March. So to start it off, I finally broke down and got us an espresso machine as just a little gift for like around Valentine's Day. So um, I've said before in a previous video, for whatever reason, I kind of have a couple theories Coffee in general is not good in Switzerland, which was quite shocking to me, um, seeing how good the chocolate is. And, you know, I just feel like the quality of food that you can buy at the grocery store in Europe is so nice, but they're definitely lacking in the coffee department. At least here in Geneva, I can't really speak about Zurich or anywhere else. So I always did not want to get an espresso machine just because I felt like it's gonna encourage me to drink more coffee, which it definitely did. Now. You know, I kind of went from having one coffee a day to now I want two, which is not good. So I really need to rein it back in. But um, yeah, just I wanted to throw this out there. If you're looking for an affordable coffee machine, we don't have much room. Our kitchen is very old and small and there's only one outlet in the whole kitchen. That's why I, I never really wanted to get it for us before. So I kind of have to move it to the outlet to use it. So I ended up getting us the Nespresso, the virtual pop machine. I just got it in the white color. So it's white and black. It, they had a bundle going on which i think you can still get and they had the milk frother with it so whenever i would go into the nespresso store in toronto because years ago i wanted to get an espresso machine but i just felt like i didn't like the coffee anything they gave me as a sample it just seemed very strong and bitter i'm like oh i don't really think this is for me if you're like me and you just like more of a mild coffee not really like bold or acidic flavors i really like the cafe joyeux melosio soleo um colombia el salvador those ones are all really good if you don't like super strong coffee and then just when i was online i was looking at their cups i got this cute little tumbler it's called the nomad tumbler and i've been liking that to make iced coffee so you can just put a shot of espresso over um, milk on ice and that's been really good as well and something to go with the coffee i've only seen this here but when i looked for you um, to link it online i did see it on amazon in the u.s so maybe they do have this in north america i've just never noticed it before i think the brand is maison routine and i get the vanilla syrup for coffee it's made in france and something that i have noticed here um like traveling around europe any of those kind of like boutique coffee shops that i find that i really like the coffee i often notice that they have this behind the counter and that's how they make their vanilla lattes or whatnot after taking a long break from starbucks now i barely went over covid and now definitely here i never go just because the price is so outrageous um um, we went the other week in Amsterdam and it just tasted really disgusting to me. I got like a vanilla latte. I could feel like I can just taste the chemicals in everything now that I've taken a break from that sort of stuff. So this though tastes so good. Um, obviously it's not good for you. It is sugar, but the ingredients are much more natural. So if you're kind of like me and sensitive to like that chemical fake artificial taste, I really like this. Um, we did get, I think, a caramel one once before. I don't really like that. I only like the vanilla one. Okay, something my fiance got for me. Um, this is from Hermes. It's a little coin purse. And the reason he got this for me, he didn't know about this. I just had seen it. We were um, just killing time in an airport one day and we were just walking by and I saw one of these, it was like a purple one in the window. And I just made the comment. I'm like, oh, I should get this because I actually don't have a coin purse. I've been carrying around change in a little Ziploc bag the whole time I've lived here. Um, just because I have a, like a little, um, one of those like key pouches that I just keep my cards in. I feel like for years in Toronto, I never really use change or cash for anything. Um, but definitely here, traveling around Europe, you definitely need coins to use the washroom or transit. And I absolutely hate that. <laughs> As someone that drinks a lot of water, I really, really hate the washroom situation in Europe in general, but it is what it is. Anyway, I actually really needed a little coin pouch. And what's cool about this is he, I, wasn't familiar that you could do this. So he said he went to the store and then he actually picked out the colors, which I thought was really cool. So he made the inside a light blue and outside dark blue. I don't know the colors or anything. And then he put my initials there with like a little, uh, it's like a four leaf clover, but made with hearts. Well, it's so nice about this. You don't have to go digging for the coins. So just how it's designed, the coins um, are caught here. And yeah, it's just really nice. It's very practical and 
if you fold a note in half, um, you can keep your bills there as well. I just thought this was great for travel and this makes a cute little gift and the fact that you can personalize it and the price point of this is not too high considering the brand. So just if you were not aware, this might be a little piece you wanna pick up. So next up, I haven't got a chance to wear this yet just because it's obviously not summer yet, but I picked up from Dish, which is an Australian brand. Um, and I, I really love this brand. I have, I would say maybe four or five pieces now. I would say the price point is similar to Cause. The quality is definitely there. The quality is very, very good. I will warn you, um, you might have to pay duties on it, so just keep that in mind. So last year, I really wanted a white linen set from them, and I was hoping it would go on sale, but I don't think my I could find what I needed in my size. So I just wanted to be proactive. I definitely needed a white linen set because there's not that much air conditioning in Europe, so I really needed this. So I got the pants in a size eight, and then the top in a size six, just because I could see on the model, like it fit a bit oversized. I didn't want it too, too big and it fits perfectly. I would say in all my other stuff from them, I am a size eight US. So that's typically my true size. A lot of their stuff is a little bit flowy too. So I don't think you would have to size up. The pants are double lined. They're very good quality. So they're not see-through or anything. Um, I think when I was younger, I really liked wearing all white, but I feel like now that I'm older, maybe I'm just a lot more pale, it washes me out a little bit. So I almost think with the linen set, I'm gonna break it apart on holidays, but the white pants will look great with literally anything. And then I think the white top would really look nice with like flowy trousers or even denim. Um, I even have some like pink jeans that I don't wear that often because I find it's a little bit hard to match, but I think that would look really pretty as well. So yeah, it's just like a great set to travel with. It's very easy to mix and match. And then speaking of sets, I picked up this, it's like a plissé set in black and it comes with the pants. I just have it um, underneath there. And I got this, it was for the whole set, it was only around 40 some, that's in francs, similar to US dollars. And it is from a brand, I think it's like an Instagram brand, um, Nouveau Edit. And I got this size large and I feel like it fits me perfectly. Does the material feel like the absolute best? No, because it is synthetic, which is not the best, but I would say for that price point, I feel like it's very fair. And I really like how the pants fit. It's very um, comfy. And the pants are actually um, with the elasticized waist. They're great for travel. And because it's a black pant, it literally looks good with anything. You can wear it with um, even like a white oversized blouse. So I just thought for the price point, this would is great so I would say if you're between two sizes though size up and I picked up these Zara pants they're like a striped trouser back when they were having a sale on I think I got them for only like 14 francs I picked them up in size large they are plenty big they have a tie around the waist I think these particular ones are sold out but I will try to find on their website if they have similar items but I do really like them and again for summer I just think you know with kind of like a platform sandal a white tee that these look really really nice and next up i just wanted to link i picked up this kitsch um, satin pillowcase which i have owned in the past i just when we moved here our pillows are a little bit different sizes i kind of have to redo the bedding um so i didn't have one that fit our pillows here so recently i would say the past month or so i have been using a satin pillowcase again and i think that in combination with like i cut my hair a bit using the water filter that I mentioned in last month's favorites videos, it's made a big, big difference. So I just wanted to link this one because this one is a lot more affordable than the silk, the actual silk pillowcases, but the satin, I feel like you get pretty much the same effects, at least for me, like I haven't really noticed much of a difference and they're a lot more affordable. So next up, something I wanted to talk about was a tooth whitening product. So Burst had sent me their Precision Whitening Pen. This is a new item that they have on their website. So why I wanted to try this out for you guys, and I've been using this for almost a couple months. I really like to try products like this out, anything tooth related for a long time before I ever recommend it. So most whitening products don't have the cleanest, healthiest ingredients. And obviously because it's going in your mouth, that's really important. So this is their Consciously Clean formula. It's made with 9% hydrogen peroxide, coconut oil, aloe vera, and xylitol. So xylitol is a unique ingredient um, used in dental products or dentistry. So xylitol, it's from a plant. It can add sweetness to a product, but it's very unique because one of the properties of it, it actually 
helps to kill cavity causing bacteria. So um, if you can get your hands on xylitol gum, lozenges, toothpaste, that's a great thing and it's natural. So I love that they put it in this. So this pen is actually safe to use every day. Do you need to be whitening your teeth every day? No, but you could. So when you first get it, um, you're going to just unscrew the lid and it looks like a little paintbrush. And then you're just gonna click the bottom quite a few times until the product starts coming out the top. And you literally just paint it on your teeth. Why I like whitening pens is because you can really direct the whitening product into the interproximal spaces, which are usually the areas that get stained. So the pen is very affordable, it's under $20. So essentially to apply it, you're just gonna smile big, paint it on to all the front facing surfaces of your teeth, and then keep your mouth open for approximately 30 to 60 seconds just so it dries and then you can go about your day um, this will just slowly dissolve away with your saliva usually what i do just a little hack if you happen to have um, a whitening tray or i have invisalign trays so what i do i paint this on let it dry and then i put my invisalign trays over it so it kind of traps it in there to work a little bit better but you don't need to do that that's just a hack if you know you have uh, some sort of like a tray or retainer that you've used in the past this is very gentle whitening but I could tell after a few days of using it I definitely could tell a difference it didn't make my teeth sensitive at all definitely any form of whitening it's gonna work best on clean teeth so obviously brush floss rinse before you ever put a whitening product on and it will work even better if you just recently had a dental scaling done so that's just my little tips they also have sent me in the past whitening strips to use which i really like and they don't make my teeth sensitive at all and they have really good ingredients as well so i'll link those ones down below if you prefer an actual whitening strip i've just been keeping this in the washroom and then i'm also going to take it we're going away again soon so i'm going to keep it in my travel bag and um just a little tip from being hygienist so the things that stain patients teeth the most i find it's going to be all the good things we like. So tea, coffee, red wine, um, smoking. Smoking is not good. Um, so that's whether that's you're smoking weed, you're smoking just regular cigarettes, um, anything that can really dry out your mouth. If you're mouth breathing, your mouth gets dried on. That plaque can really cake on and stain your teeth. Chlorine really can stain some people's teeth, the chemicals um, in the pool. So if you do a lot of swimming indoors, Blueberries are a huge stainer, especially of kids' teeth. I find, um, what else? Oh, like anything like turmeric, smoked paprika, any of those um, spices that you cook with that can really stain your skin, obviously they can stain your teeth as well. And then something I showed in my last video briefly, but this is a pair of ballet flats I got from Massimo Duty and these are in the size 40 euro and i'm a size 9 us so they do run true to size my feet are a bit wide and i find these comfy i've only worn them outside once so far but they were fine i didn't wear them you know all day long yet or anything and they if you don't like the red color they have black and they also have a beige color but i think it has a strap on it i just thought it was kind of cool i know people might either love or hate these but um like i said if you don't like this color they do have black but I would recommend them and they have a little grippy thing here so you don't slide around on them. But I just thought, you know, if you're wearing all black or dark colors, um, these look great with trousers just to kind of give a pop of color. I would say my favorite pant that I've been wearing just around the apartment here just to lounge are from Adenola, which I've showed in a video before, but these are their ultimate wrap over yoga pant. And I got this size large, I find probably i could have got the medium because they are a bit big on me but maybe that's why i like them because they're not tight at all they're really just comfy and i find the waistline is very flattering because it's like in a tapered v i got the regular length but i said in a previous video i should have got the tall length um, sometimes I just find tall stuff, even though I am 5'9", is a little bit too long, even on me. But if I were to repurchase them, I would probably get size medium in the tall. But I'm quite fine for lounging and just being around the house to have the size large. And I just find them really, really soft. Again, they're flattering. If you do have to like run outside quickly, they're, they're fine. I find myself for whatever reason for like months now, I barely wear leggings. I find I've been wearing some of my like yoga pants a bit more. 
Okay, so two products that I've been loving, and I've had both of these for a while. I've just been using them a lot more. I'm really making an effort to like use up products around here. So I got this last year. So this is Balmain Paris Shine Wax for your hair. I feel like I will have this forever because even after that long, I still have that much left. So basically you just need a very small amount of this and I don't have it in right now. I would say, I'm not gonna put it in to show you guys, but it makes your hair so, so shiny. So if you like to do a slick back bun or if you like to wear your hair like this and you want up here very shiny, I would recommend this. It makes such a big difference. And yes, it is a little bit pricey to buy, but it's gonna last you forever. I've had this now, I think, over a year or around one year and I haven't even used half of it yet and I've used this a lot because when my hair was longer I always would wear it down in a bun I would say though once you put this in because it is a wax you do probably have to like wash your hair that night just because you know it has that waxy feeling so just keep that in mind but I love this and it really makes your hair look so so shiny it's a great finishing product and then one other product, again, I've had forever. It was, again, a bit pricey when I purchased it, but this is from Joanna Vargas, and this is called their Exfoliating Mask. And it's a really, really fine um, grit exfoliant for your face. Now, because I have melasma, I don't think it's smart to use this on hyperpigmentation, but where I use this is just mainly um, like around my nose and my jawline. That's sometimes where my face gets congested. And because it, because it has such a fine, fine grain, your skin just feels like so nice after it's really like a facial polish but again a little goes a long way do not over scrub your face with this you can just gently use it because it is so fine um, it's just going to feel so nice something i wanted to mention that i've been absolutely loving it's game changing so i have one rolling rack here and i just want to say i know not everyone has the luxury of having enough space to have this and trust me i have only ever lived in shoebox sized places my whole life this is actually the biggest place i've ever lived in i was just saying the other day like i'm so grateful i have a bed that i can walk around now and it doesn't have to be smushed up against the wall and you have to get out of the bed in a weird way so even though probably most people wouldn't think this apartment is that big if you grew up in a big house like i've never had this before so the thing i'm going to talk about that i'm so grateful i can have is so I got a rolling rack to just to help me to hang clothing um, to dry because I have a small clothing rack in the laundry room, but I really needed something more. I also like the rolling rack to hang our comforters over or coats or anything like that that I want to kind of air out and I just push it over towards the window. There's like big windows here that open. So I have a rolling rack, um, it's just plain for that, which I love. The brand is Song Mix. They don't have Amazon here, but I got it off of like, Switzerland has its own kind of like website called Galaxis that's similar to Amazon. So I got it off of there, but I'll find this on the US Amazon to link for you. The one I really like though, I got this the other day, it was only 23 francs, which was a really good price, but I like that it has a double bar. And why I like this, we went away on holiday. It's great for packing. So throughout the week, I can kind of pull things out of my closet, mix and match things, make outfits, steam things if I need to do that. Um, you can have a section, like these are the items that need to be taken away for dry cleaning. These are the items that need to be steamed. Because when I pull out the clothing steamer, I like to do a few things at a time just to make it worth it. I love this thing and it wasn't very much money. It's easy to put together. And if you do have the room, I would really highly recommend it. And also too, um, we don't have room um, like in the cupboards and closets here to keep all the clothing. So we have to put some stuff away in bins. So this has been great helping me do that. You know, I just kind of, as I'm going through the closet, put it on that and I know, okay, I have to put this rack of clothes away. So I would really recommend this and it was an amazing price. Okay, so next up, a few kitchen things. So I'm gonna link, um, one of my favorite recipes I made this past month was this cinnamon apple cake. It's super easy, it's really, really great. It goes nice with coffee. In the recipe, it does call for quite a bit of oil. So what I do usually, I don't like using that much oil. So I put um, the majority of it applesauce. You can substitute applesauce and um, just a little bit of oil. It turned out great. So just a few other kitchen products that I like. So if you don't have miniature versions of like spatulas, a whisk, um, 
what else like little mini silicone spoons i would really recommend getting off of amazon just they're usually only ten dollars or under it just really helps you to get into jars even if you have skincare products even something like this you can really scrape it clean i just can't believe how handy the miniature version is um i cook a lot i use a lot of like coconut milk from the can and stuff like that it just really really helps i just find even having a mini spatula like for cups of yogurt things like that you can really get a lot more product out i feel like um in the past because i didn't have the mini version i was leaving a lot of product inside even just ha to have a mini version of the whisk is great if you're just um, beating one egg so if you don't have the mini version of everything or you think it kind of just looks like a kid's play set I would really recommend you get that if you like cooking um, something else that's been one of my favorites for years but I was like I should really mention this because I use it every single day is my Zatar spice so I ordered this from a place in Jerusalem and the reason I order it um from there is there's this lady on youtube her name's blanche and she has a channel i think it's called feast in the middle east and i really trust her recommendations and she said she orders it from this place she's like it's the best so i use this in salads every day sprinkle it on eggs avocado toast um just vegetables you can put it on yogurt um bake with it you can make bread oh my god it's just so so good um, something else i wanted to mention was this tea so it's a strawberry cucumber tea i believe i got it in london just at like boots pharmacy and i'm not really a tea person but this just seemed really good it's so flavorful it's really really nice it would be great also in like the warmer weather months if you put ice in it i really like this one and then we just got back from Amsterdam. I really loved it there. It was like so fun. Just a lot of young people. It's like opposite of here. Um, and then something we picked up there, and I actually prefer just like the grocery store version, is the stroke waffle. So if you haven't been there and had one of these before, basically it almost looks like a big waffle, very like thin wafery cookie. And the ones I like, we got ones that have honey in them and then others that have caramel. I like the caramel ones. And these we just got from the grocery store because they had them in the hotel and they were really good. And they are I think, jumbo brand. We also went and got like the fancier tourist ones, but I just prefer the grocery store version. If you haven't had one before, if you lay it on a cup of like hot coffee or tea, it warms up the inside. They're really, really yummy. Not healthy, but yummy. Um, something else that I got there, one of my earrings broke, so I didn't want the hole to grow in. So it's hard to see, but it's a little gold, uh, 14K gold little heart earring. I'll put a picture up here on the screen. And I got that at Anna and Nina, which is like a well-known store there. They have um, some home things and jewelry and stuff. And then just to end off with a few clothing pieces. So from Arquette, I really like their socks from there um, that are on the wall in the store. So in euros, they're either five euros each, or I think you get five for 20. And yeah, I just really like their socks from there. I wanted to mention them as well as cause socks. So I will link the ones that I got from both those places recently. I just like their colors. And especially too, if you're wearing pants that are a little bit cropped and you want a longer sock, I just, I really like these. They're comfy and they run true to size. I think they come in like two sizes. From Cause, I also picked up these jeans, these like light gray jeans. They fit very nicely, got size 29, they run true to size. And then I also picked up a green sweater with leather trim. And I have worn these jeans and that sweater, that outfit four times in the past week. I wore it every other day. Um, the sweater does say dry clean only, but I hand washed it um, a couple days ago and it's fine. So I would think you can just hand wash it seems okay from my last video Suzanne as predicted I've been wearing that navy the Betty cardigan quite a bit that's the one I reach for as well as the gray Gaspard cardigan but I am quite pleased with that Betty cardigan I will definitely probably in the future get another color of that sweater really like it so those were my favorite items for this month as always I'll link everything down below bye guys